guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the Liverpool Career Road Show and we have a banger of an episode because we will play Manchester City in a potentially huge game in the title race and we also will play a big Porto game in the Champions League so I'm really excited about this episode. If you are excited as well, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen. Thank you so much for your awesome good comments and great support on the previous episode episodes i'm already in love with fifa 22 and a lot more content is coming your way and we have one of our youth academy players uh, Farkas who is a Hungarian center midfielder but i have trained him to become a left winger because he has really really decent praise great defending uh, sorry great dribbling not great defending so let's convert him and he goes from a 54 rated player to a 60 rated player that's how good these uh, position changes are so let's train his weak foot and that improves his finishing and he's only 15 years old so this guy could become a Liverpool great and he is from Hungary so he is a fellow countryman of mine and I'm really looking forward to developing these young players and this next game is really big if we could beat Porto we could have six points after two games and then we play AC Milan back to back I rotated the team a little bit, Matip, Konate, Anderson, Bellingham and Harvey Elliott start and this is a big game for Bobby Firmino up front, let's go! Look at Anfield, the John Barnes Tifo is out and Anfield looks absolutely glorious, I'm in love with this stadium. Oh my goodness, I'm really really looking forward to this one. European nights are so so special and we just have to beat Porto. Firmino. Bellingham, have a dig! Oh, good save. That was a good shot, Jude Bellingham. Go on, Harvey! Harvey Elliott! Is in, please! Harvey Elliott! Harvey Elliott! What a goal! What a mesmerizing run by Harvey Elliott! He's playing in midfield, but I instructed him to get in behind, to get forward and that is a fantastic run he has the pace and the finish and we are up and running at Anfield in the Champions League Harvey Elliott, what a big season this is going to be for him that is a really good goal first goal in the Champions League for Harvey Elliott that is a big one I really hope EA update his hair because he doesn't look like that in real life anymore let's be very patient oh! Mane! Oh my goodness, that was a fantastic attack again. Salah. And Mane is away. Go on Mane, come on Mane. Harvey Elliott is wide open in the middle. Oh. Oh, great steal. Harvey Elliott, go on. It's wide. Go on Mane. Go on Mane. Mane. And Harvey Elliott, Bellingham! Oh, oh, I love that. Kenny Dalglish. Oh, my man. One of the best players that, to ever play for Liverpool. The Man City game is just three days after this one. So I'm resting Salah, Mane and Timikas. Because Robertson is injured, we don't have another left back. Doku and uh, Minamino are all coming on. No. Oh, what a mistake and Alisson has to bail us out. We have to be very, very careful here. Not to give too many opportunities to Porto. This is exactly what I was talking about. We kept giving the ball away to them. Surely not. Alisson, what a catch. How? How is that? Alisson, oh my goodness, again! I can't believe it, that it was, this was in, inevitable, Porto equalized. We kept giving the ball away, the second half, I don't know what happened with our team, but we just kept giving Porto chances, again and again, and we get punished ultimately for really poor second half performance. The game wasn't over. Yes, we dominated the first half. Porto didn't have one shot. But in the second half, we are so sloppy in possession. I don't know what happened. Guys, I just can't keep hold of the ball. And it's, it's really, really annoying. No, man. Oh, 
Oh my god, Harvey Elliott, if he puts the pass through, Doku is one on one with the keeper. I'm so annoyed at the second half performance because we had this game in the palm of our hands. We should have scored the second goal, we didn't. And when you don't score, you can see it. It's the number one rule in football. And I cannot believe how we let Porto back into the game. The first half, we had six shots, Porto had zero. Second half, they actually had a lot of good shots. And I'm, I'm really annoyed at myself that we, we let to Porto back into the into the game honestly and Harvey Elliott was the man of the match with a 7.7 rating he scored our own goal I'm really I'm our only goal I'm really happy for him we are still leading the group but only by one point and we play play AC Milan home and away so we really need to get at least one win and one draw and I need to perform better. I rotated the side maybe a little bit too much against Porto, but I, we had to because we are playing Manchester City in the next one. So this AC Milan double header is huge because Atletico will probably beat Porto home and away. Man City started off with two draws, but I still expect them to go through ahead of uh, Leipzig or Club Bruges, but Man City could be in trouble if they lose to Leipzig. In, uh, and in this one, uh, Dortmund should go through and the second place is up for grabs really Ajax should be doing better than uh, than losing to Besiktas really and in this one wow big shocker Shakhtar Donetsk beat Real Madrid away from home that is huge so Real Madrid are already in big big trouble but I still expect them to go through and Bayern Munich also what are they doing drawing to Dinamo Kiev that's really really surprising so there are a lot of upsets Atalanta also losing two games back to back is a big surprise Man United are already in pole position and in this one it's a very very good group Wolfsburg and Sevilla should go through really and in this one Juventus also without a win still but I also expect them to go through, really. And we found a very promising, very tall youth career player who's potentially 77 to 94, so let's sign him up. And this guy looks very promising as well, with an overall of minimum 54 to 72, so let's check him out as well. And William Marshall also, I like his name, he looks a really decent player as well, decent youth academy player. I will release these guys that you have very low potential because we only want the very high potential players really. And this guy is really special, 52 overall, 77 to 94 potential. Oh wow, he, he's awful at defending but he's also awful at shooting but still a young player of course. So I'm not really sure what should be his best position. Probably because he has 75 acceleration and really good dribbling. He should be maybe a right winger. Let's check it out. Let's see if... And William Marshall also 72 to 94 potential. Again, really bad finishing. But he's only 15 years old, so at least he has that going for him. I will keep him on a, on a cam position because I think that suits him pretty well. His short passing is 61. And the third guy is a Fakate from Hungary. And he already has very, very good finishing. So let's improve his attacking work rate. 62 finishing at the age of 15. Guys, we just found ourselves an absolute bowler. Oh my goodness, I can't stress this enough after seeing people like uh, people with 42 and 43 finishing as youth academy players, this guy is going to be really, really special. He's very small as well, so he could be uh, like a Har Harvey Elliott type of player. Now this is a big surprise. We get offered a managerial job from the Belgium FA. Of course, uh, we will still be a Liverpool manager. This is just on the side. And I'm very tempted to accept this. I will, of course, told this. I want you guys to comment. Let me know. Do you want me to become the manager of Belgium? Let's check out their team because I think it's important when you make a decision like this to actually check out the Belgium team. But they have some work class players and, and even Lukaku is not even in the starting 11 so we could actually have a chance to to you know qualify for the World Cup and maybe win the World Cup do you want me to play with Belgium in the World Cup at the end of the season of course my long-term aim is to either manage Hungary or England I want to build them up using our youth academy players so if we get a managerial job from any of those nations I will accept it but until then we could have fun with the Belgian national team and this is a huge game, Liverpool against Manchester City. 
one of the biggest games of the season and I'm really looking forward to this. And Man City of course signed two new strikers plus they have Gabriel as well so they fixed their gaping hole in the team and this, this game is going to be our toughest yet. Man City have an amazing team, Gerard Moreno the VRL striker is actually better right now on FIFA than Gabriel Jesus, so we have, we have to be very careful. There's no getting away from it. This has really become a special fixture in the context of the English club game. Liverpool against Manchester City. Anfield awaits. Oh, the Virgil van Dijk Tifo is out. I love that. Bring on Manchester City. This is going to be one of our toughest games of the season and I'm really so excited and looking forward to this one. Man City will be our biggest title rivals, I think. They just have the best team, the best squad and they signed so many amazing young players and amazing strikers. They have absolutely world-class players, two of them, in every single position. Can he take them on and beat them? Oh no! Alisson, what a save! Yes, Mane. Salah. Two. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Ederson saves it. That was a good attack. Look at this incredible one-touch passing by Manchester City. Alisson! Ooh, that was a big save. Damn. Jack Grealish. To Foden, great block. Firmino, to Mane. Oh, come on. Jota. Bobby! Firmino, it's wide. Oh, wow, what a pass. Jack Grealish. He's in. Foden, his shot is blocked by Gomez. Yeah, Man City are pushing us all the way. But this is what I expected. Oh, come on now. Oh, great counter-attacking opportunity. Salah. A real struggle to contain him. And Jota. Jota. Please. Beautiful! Nabi Keita hits the post. Oh no. Rodri to De Bruyne. Man City are really pushing Alisson. Wow, that was a long way out. We need freshening up uh, and Fabinho says a yellow card. So Thiago, Ox and Konate are coming on and Joe Gomez will play left back. Go on Jota. And Ox! Ox and Chamberlain! Oh my goodness, what a substitution! And he is the Man City killer! He usually scores bangers against Man City and that's what I had a feeling of and I was thinking about who to substitute. What a goal! I think that's a goalkeeper error. It's not going in the corner, but I think Ederson a little bit cold, cold, cold. And that's a goalkeeping error. Ederson is a better goalkeeper than that, but I'm not complaining. I'm happy that that went in. And Man City were so far the better team. What a time for Ox! to get his first goal of the season. Wow, against such a big team in such a big game. I mean, big team in terms of the title race. They're, they are certainly not a big team in terms of trophies and titles and everything. No. Walker. No! Oh! That was almost a penalty, but thankfully I don't touch the Man City player. Guardiola is livid. Hello, Guardiola, come on. Oh, you mad, son? You look absolutely fuming. But don't celebrate too early. Bernardo Silva. Oh, come on now. Ryan Sterling! I can't believe it. Ah, oh, just as I was taunting Pep Guardiola, Man City equalized. Because, again, they high-pressed us and this time we lost the ball. With Ox here, I tried to release Jota or whoever that was. What a finish by Ryan Sterling. And yeah, karma caught me. I shouldn't have celebrated like that or taunting Pep Guardiola when the game wasn't still over because and Man City to be fair deserve at least a draw from this game because they, they had bigger and better chances than us Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. What? I press pass and Trent Arxelanold doesn't do it? And a super header. Oh my goodness, no 
Oh my word, what am I doing? I just keep giving the ball away. Bernardo Silva almost won it with the last kick of the game. What a game this was. Both teams had chances. I think Man City had more, but I'm happy with the draw. I will be honest, even though with 10 minutes to go to be one it up against Man City, it was a big, big opportunity. But we had five shots, Man City had 15 and they had more possession. This, uh, this legendary difficulty is, is kicking my ass, I will be honest. And yeah, Man City had more possession, they had uh, 6 shots on target, I only had 2, so I can't really complain about the draw, when Man City's expected goals were almost 5. Bobby Firmino had a great game, but I think uh, Man City had the man of the match, it was Ryan Sterling who scored an absolute banger. Chelsea are really the only big side who can put a consistent run of results together, the all, the, all the other big teams are struggling to put a run of wins together. Arsenal in fact lost to Brighton, Man United only could get a draw against Everton and also Tottenham lost to Aston Villa. So there are so many crazy bonkers results. I just wish we could put a run of wins together but I love that FIFA 22 is so difficult, so hard and our next game is against Watford and we have a position change for one of our youth academy players I'm really excited to find out if we can improve this guy's rating he's right now 48 rated and I converted him from a center forward to a cam and no, his rating doesn't change and to be honest he has 33 finishing so I don't think he will make it uh, at our club but let's trade him. And after dropping points in the last two games, we really need to bounce back and get a big win here. Ismail Asar is the JJ man for Watford. I think uh, we should be beating them. All eyes on one man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today live on EA TV? Welcome to the Watford Stadium. I'm really pumped for this one. I think this is going to be a tough game. On FIFA 22, every game is tough, but I love it. I love the gameplay of the carrier mode, and let's get into it. Go on. Trent. Two. Jota! What is that finish, Jota? And Trent Rocks-Ronald, have a dig! Oh, Foster saves it. That was a good try. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. What a strike by Kutso, whoever that guy is. No way. Dennis! Ooh, good save, Alisson. Oh no. Dennis is in. Oh, please. Thankfully. What? Alisson, what a save. Come on, come on now. It's my Lassar. How? How did they just find Dennis so easily? And Watford take the lead and we are struggling to create chances and defensively we always concede at least one goal and that's a problem. Because in this game, in attack, I just can't really break down the Watford defense. Oh, that is a great goal. That is a really, really good goal by Dennis. Can't really complain about that. Come on, wake up, Liverpool. And possibilities here. Can sit back. Oh my word, Alisson again, this is ridiculous! Salah, great stuff. Please, Mane! And Bellingham, finally! Bellingham gets a goal! Get the ball, come on Jude, come on Jude, what are you doing? What are you spazzing out? Just get the ball, Jude Bellingham, you app idiot! What is happening? Oh my goodness, but we at least get a goal back. It's a lucky rebound, the goalkeeper is on the floor. And Bellingham wants it more than the defender, and then he's tripped over. This was a weird goal, but Jude Bellingham finally are on the score is on the score sheet i'm putting all the goal scorers on the pitch firmino and doku are coming on and i'm leaving the front three on the pitch mane salah and jota no way alisson again what on earth is happening absolutely ridiculous oh my goodness did i just clear it off the line go on doku Come on, Jota! Ah, Jota could have won it in the last minute of the game. Oh, that was a really good play. But, Jota, 
Dude, Bobby Firmino, how did he clear it off the line? That was going in, that is absolutely remarkable. What a piece of defending. What a weird episode. Three 1-1 draws, back to back to back. And I will be honest, apart from the last like 15 minutes, Watford were the better side. I still am getting used to the FIFA 22 gameplay, as you can see. Sometimes I was struggling a little bit. I mean, Watford had 13 shots. I only had seven. Watford had 5.4 expected goals. Wow, that is a lot. We only had seven shots. Three expected goals still for us. So we really should have scored more. We had four shots on target. Watford had six. So yeah, we were a little bit lucky to even get a draw out of this. And Alisson was our best player. That, I mean, that says a lot. Jude Bellingham got a goal. The big teams uh, managed to win their games, most of them. So Man United, Man City and Tottenham all gained two points on us. But the league leaders, Chelsea lost to Brentford, which is absolutely imm immense to me because they, they could have pulled away by a lot of points. As it stands, because Arsenal also won, we are only just four points off top spot. And that is West Ham United are leading the Premier League table at the moment. And we are really struggling, only we won three games out of eight. I need to finish my chances better and I also need to defend better. I need to get used to the gameplay. Norwich, Newcastle and Brighton are in the bottom three of the Premier League, but there's still a long, long way to go. And that Brentford win, that will give them so much confidence to stay in the Premier League. Aubameyang now equaled Jota's goal tally with seven goals each. And I, I'm struggling to get Mane or Salah to score many goals in the Premier League. Ronaldo is now Man United's top scorer. Richard Lisson and Antonio are also up there. So the goal scorers are, I think, a little bit more realistic than in previous seasons. Uh, Hakim Ziyech and Lukaku are leading the assist charts. And yeah, we don't, we have one clean sheet in eight games. And many of you guys said that I should make Jude Bellingham the number 17. So yeah, that will be his number. And Doku shouldn't be the number two. I will make Doku probably number 16. That should be that should be a, yeah that should be a good number for Jeremy Doku. So Jude Bellingham finally is off the mark in his Liverpool career. But as you can see, I mean Salah has just two goals in 10 games. Mane 11 games, just one goal. That's our problem right there. We need them to score more goals. Maybe I will switch tactics a little bit in the next episode, but. Yeah, I need to improve and I need to change some things because this is it's just not working really. The next episode is going to be a banger. We play AC Milan and Manchester United. Huge games in the Champions League and the Premier League. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Good night.